Hello YouTube, I'm Vince White. I'm an employment attorney and as you can perhaps see, I'm in New York at the moment. Um, which doesn't make me happy. That's all right. Gotta do what you gotta do. Um, somebody called me uh, last week and I've been pondering it for a while and they were like, hey Vince, um, I think you're wrong about wrongful termination claims. I think they are a claim. Let me send you some TikTok links from, from attorneys who are saying you're wrong. And I was like, uh, I'm good. I'm all right. I don't need the links. Like, good luck with your claim, but like, not interested. And they were pretty offended. They were like, what, you're not even gonna hear me out? Yeah. Uh, you said some things to intake, to get past intake. Those things appear to not be accurate. And you're looking to, to go forward with a wrongful termination claim based on the idea that you were bullied. Uh, no discrimination, no sexual harassment, no retaliation, just, just a bullying and wrongful termination claim. And the person was like, you're not even going to hear me out. You're not, you're not going to listen to what I have to say? I was like, no, why? I don't work for you. You're not my client. I, I'm telling you, no, thank you. If you were my client, I'd hear you out. It's my job. My job is to hear you out and to help you. But you're not my client, and so no, I'm not going to hear you. Out. And the, the person was like, "Well, you're you're arrogant, right?" Like, yeah, for sure. Agreed. Consensus. Um, but person went on a little bit like well there's attorneys on tiktok who say you're wrong that's fine you should hire them give them a call well they don't they don't answer their phones right 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 okay i mean listen that's between you and the attorneys on tiktok <coughs> there's a number of very large employment attorneys on tiktok the problem with attorneys on tiktok and i understand tiktok has a module once you get to a certain size for long form content. I understand that. But long form content is generally not how you grow a channel on TikTok. Generally not how it's done. Short content, <coughs> very short content is generally how you grow um, in terms of the algorithm on TikTok. And I know a bunch, I, I, I know a couple of the TikTok employment attorneys there's one who like dances in a little car and like fights with like little beach balls of work stress. Like, okay, that's, that's, not, I'm not, I'm not hating on that content. If you watch that employment attorney and you're like, that's the guy for me, cool. More plaintiffs are being helped. That makes me happy. But I, I'm not gonna fight with that guy about the law um he can make a long form video and explain what he means if he wants to like that's that's fine when you call me for representation if i don't think the claim is a good claim for my firm to take on i'm just gonna say yeah no thank you and you can want to argue and debate and all the things like you can you can want all those things but I don't get into arguments where I'm not paid to be there. The last time I had a fight that I wasn't paid to be in was freshman year of high school. Not interested. Not a good use of my time. Don't care. And if the issue is that attorneys on TikTok are telling you that bullying in the workplace is illegal, one, they should specify what jurisdiction, right? Like. Where? Where is it illegal? Because because there is a place in the country where workplace bullying is illegal. I'm pretty sure they weren't talking about it, but like that exists. It's just not the law of most of the land, right? <coughs> so if they want to tell you workplace bullying is illegal, cool. They should then be excited to hop on the phone with you and talk about representing you. And that is an A to B conversation between you and them. And I will see my way out of it because I don't care. I, I, I have no interest, right? Um, 
and I, I'm not saying the TikTok attorneys are bad. Like they're giving, again, it's short form content and it's short form, short form content talking about very complex ideas. Even on this channel, where I rant and rave for 20, 30 minutes at a time in some videos, like we're talking around concepts and giving loose impressions of concepts. The, the idiots on the channel are like, no, give us the case law. We'll do it for ourselves. You, you can barely read in terms of the law and case law. Like, I'm re <laughs> not you, obviously, not you, the viewer, but these people are like, give me the case law. I'll do it myself. Unlikely. Statistically unlikely. Like, highly, highly unlikely. Um, other attorneys from other fields have trouble entering this field. So... The idea that in 60 seconds, you're going to break down the realities of wrongful termination claims and give someone enough data to operate intelligently, I don't think it's going to happen. Frankly, I, Brannigan Robertson does long form content on this, on, on this platform and he'll be like, yeah, wrongful termination claims, good to go. Sir. Please tell the people what you mean by that. And, and he does in his videos. He's 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 a good he's a good looking fella and it's it's good content, right? But the captions, the, the headlines are still wrongful termination claim. It's a but if people don't watch the video, they've now been confused. And they're gonna call a bunch of employment attorneys and be like, I don't understand why I can't get anybody to take my case. The people on TikTok say it's worth b b billions and it's like call them i don't what are we doing here what why why are you calling me if you like the thoughts espoused by the attorneys on tiktok call them oh they don't they don't have offices some of them are solo practitioners that's between you and them i can't help you with that all right um, and I'm not, I, I think it sounds like I'm like mocking these attorneys. <clears throat> I do believe they're trying to help people. And the ones I know are generally good human beings. And I mean, they wouldn't like murder your grandma. Like, you know, they're not like monsters. Um, and they're, they're getting information out there and they're trying to appeal to an algorithm that's very unforgiving, right? They're they're gonna put out like Reddit anti-work style, like you should be given a million dollars because Jeff Bezos has enough money to give everyone a million dollars. That kind of content appeals to people. Is that stupid? Yeah, of course it's stupid. If everyone had a million dollars, a million dollars wouldn't be very valuable. Like it's a fundamental misunderstanding of money and economics and a variety of things, right? But it's also popular. And if your main goal is building a following, it's a pretty smart way to do it. So I'm not hating the player. I'm not even hating the game. If they want to play that game, that's cool. I'm just saying, I'm not, don't call me and tell me that a fellow on TikTok said some things. That's cool. You should talk to the fellow on TikTok about those things. This seems like a relatively simple thing to do, right? Um, anyways, I just, whatever. I need a video and it's just like, why are you, why are you talking to me? I don't, you don't, you, I understand that like, you might want to be like, well, Vince, I have thoughts on employment law. Cool. How many cases have you run? None. What's your basis? What's your foundation for your thoughts on employment law? Oh, well, you watched a 45 second clip on TikTok. Okay. Talk to that guy. I <coughs> Like, subscribe, comment down below. I think I'm just being ornery. Share the channel so we can grow.